it's a terribly prosaic question, but is Dick Goddard the same off camera as he is on? Do oh, you I, get that question a lot? Do yeah, I do. You that? I, I get that question quite a bit. And uh, yeah, he, he absolutely is. I, I don't think there's a fake bone in Dick Goddard's uh, body. He's just, uh, what you see on the air is just exactly uh, the way he is uh, in, in real life. Very human, very loyal. And, you know, I, uh, he's, he's a very generous man in so many ways. One, one of the things that I, I will never, never forget, and uh, by this time I was general manager here at, uh, at WJW, and um, an amazing thing happened. We had an incredibly wonderful anchor woman that I'm sure everybody will remember, and that's Robin Swoboda. So, as general manager, I had just signed Robin to a brand new five-year no-cut contract. So, a month after I had done that, she comes up to my office and she's a bit flustered and she says, Virgil, I, I need to talk to you about something. And what it was she wanted to talk about was <laughs> she had gotten an offer to become a host on what was to be a nationally syndicated show. So I tried to reason with her. I said, Robin, my goodness, you know, you know, the fatality rate of syndicated shows is very, very high. You've got everything here. You've got security. You've got a long-term contract. You're making really good money. You're, you know, you're with people who truly love you and the audience loves you. But anyway, to make a long story short, um, she, it was just her burning desire. She had to go try this uh, national job. So I did let her out of her contract. So then what happens? A few days later, up to my office comes Dick Goddard. And I don't even know if Robin knows this story. But, Ro but, but Dick was so upset that Robin was leaving. He said, Furge, we just can't have that happen. He says, here's what I want to do. Take some money out of my contract and give it to her.